Search and rescue teams along with the U.S. Coast Guard have been looking for Canadian filmmaker Rob Stewart since Tuesday night. He was scuba diving off the coast of Florida, has not been seen since. Rob, as we know, is best known for his 2006 documentary, Shark Water, that looks at global shark hunting and its impact on the ocean ecosystem. He is extremely active in underwater filmmaking. Joining me now in studio are two of Rob's close friends, Dustin Titus and host of Daily Planet, Zaya Tong. Thank you both so much Absolutely. for being here. Dustin, let's start with uh, what's happening yeah. right now. What's the latest? Yeah, so um, yesterday we had uh, you know seven aircraft in the air, um, five helicopters and three aircraft. Um, and uh, we've kind of launched an extensive on the water uh, search as well for Rob. Um, throughout the evening, we spent a ton of time organizing volunteers, uh, getting more people lined up today. Um, and we're in search and in need of more tech divers to get out into the water to try and find Rob. And what a community. I mean, you saw the presence on social media of all these people coming together with the crowdfunding as well, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, it's been pretty incredible. Yeah. Okay, so Zaya, let's talk about uh, what Rob's been doing. Well, he's been working on uh, Shark Water 2 Extinction, a huge passion project for him. I actually heard from him just a couple days ago. He said he was so happy with the filming. He was going down and looking at sawfish uh, at a wreck. And uh, he's also been really looking at the cosmetics industry and how much uh, shark oil is actually going into the cosmetics industry. So he's, you know, really, really passionate about this and very excited about it. So he has a lot of work to do, and we're very excited to, to bring him home and get him back. Yeah, exactly. And uh, his parents are down there. I understand, Dustin, you've been chatting with his mom. Yeah, his mom and dad are in uh, Florida, and his sister Alex is up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's uh, his mom been saying? How's um, she doing? Yeah, doing well. Everyone's staying strong, staying mm -hmm. positive, uh, really hoping for a great outcome on this. Uh, and let's talk about, uh, you know, he's such an experienced diver, right? And what was he wearing at the time? What are the circumstances uh, surrounding his disappearance? What, can you, what do we know? Well, basically, um, he had done a fairly deep dive, about 200 feet, about 70 meters. So that's really quite deep. And they had done several dives that day. And what had happened was uh, the safety diver who had come up came up before him. Both he and Rob resurfaced. And then the safety diver actually blacked out. So as they were retrieving the safety diver and bringing him onto the boat, Rob had signaled OK that he was fine. But then when they turned around the boat to, to find him, he, he was gone. Um, he had a rebreather system on, so this is a little bit different than traditional scuba. And also he has a dry suit on. So uh, the dry suit has a few benefits in terms of being able to keep him warm for a longer period of time. It may add to some flotation, but there also may be some difficulties because if you have air inside of your dry suit and if it bubbles up or it's called burping out of the neck, essentially, mm -hmm. then you can suddenly lose some of that buoyancy and actually go down. But of course, this is all speculation. We don't really know right now. And um, you mentioned rebreather breathing. Um, yeah. What is that exactly? In essence, what that is, is um, it's basically like you exhale a, a certain amount of air, but there's still oxygen inside of it. Mm -hmm. So the breather takes that oxygen and then scrubs out the carbon dioxide. And so you're continually breathing that same air. So that's what allows you to be able to go down for a longer period of time. With traditional scuba, you just breathe it out with bubbles. Okay, so three dives in one day. I mean, we know how experienced he's what he was or he is. Um, is that something that he would do on a frequent basis? Is that a lot? Um, you know, from a rebreathing perspective, uh, it, 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 it's kind of average, right? Okay. Sometimes you do uh, more dives than not, and all really depends on the profile of gases that you have in your rebreathing device. Okay, tell us about Rob. Rob is a spectacular human being, a true, a real inspiration. You know, I mean, there's very few people in the world who have single-handedly become world changers. And that's what I would say he is. You know, we've worked together at WWF, uh, United Conservationists. He's opened people's minds and mm -hmm. hearts um, and really given people a new window into the underwater world. He's a cherished human being, a great friend, hilarious to be around, and uh, a, a really great soul. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's passionate about making changes for the world. Um, and that starts first with our oceans and, and making sure that they're around for generations and generations. So um, the more work that he can do and to help in getting his message out and to the world, you know, the better news for our, our oceans. Okay, so what's the plan today? What's happening? We uh, have um, technical divers that will be going yeah. out today. So um, that's bit more of a plan B in a way. So they're going to be looking at the depths. Uh, we've got people on the surface, of course, the Coast Guard. And uh, we've had a tremendous outpouring um, at, on social media, as mm -hmm. you mentioned. So a lot of people, a lot of volunteers, and of course, um, in the skies as well, mm -hmm. lower flying craft at about you know 1,000 yeah, yeah. 1, feet or so, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the choppers. We also have some high resolution imagery happening out there today. We've got guys underwater with underwater scooters looking underwater for them as well. Um, sea Shepherd has sent some boats out too to 
come help us out. So we've got quite a big search happening today. Okay, great effort. Well, we're all so help hopeful. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so Thanks much. for having me. All right, by the way, I mentioned that GoFundMe page. It has been set up to help with the search and rescue costs. For more information, you can always head to our website, yourmorning.ca.